Hey, hey, it's Janet Green back for day number six. Ten reasons why you should have a home-based business. I hope you all have been enjoying this content. And if you're seriously thinking about having a home-based business, I hope over the last five days I've given you some reasons to really start making your move. As the kids say, bust the move, make the decision and get it going. Well, today I'm going to talk to you about reason number six. The reason you should have a home-based business. It might not be so obvious, but one key, another key thing is um, to make the extra money. I know people who need a little bit of extra money and a lot of times people go and get another part-time job. When you go get another part-time job, you literally add extra expense because now you have extra expense for gas and the time that you're going to spend commuting from the uh, to the next job, that's money as well. Now, what if you could take the time that you're going to spend on the extra job and the time that is going to take for you to travel to the next job, the second job? I know some people have have had as many as three jobs at a time and they are so extremely tired at the end of the week until they can't even enjoy the fruit of their labor if there is uh, too much. At the end of the year, I can tell you, you know, without the additional um, tax benefits that come with the home-based business, a lot of times the money you end up paying back in taxes. So you can make the additional money. I, I just, you know, just doing some statistics, we found out that it, the average family um, needs about an extra thousand dollars a month. And that, and that extra thousand dollars a month will, will give people the relief that they want, that they need, will give them a little flexibility to do some things that they want to do. Not only that, give them the extra cash flow to maybe pay off some credit cards or pay off something that is outstanding, maybe even a little extra money to do some investing that they cannot do because their other job, the other income that they're making from their uh, regular job is really taking care of sustaining their life. And, and sometimes the truth be told, people are living paycheck and they don't even get the paycheck. How about paycheck? Lynn Richardson says paycheck to Monday. Some people get paid on Friday and by Monday, there, there is no extra. You might make it until the middle of the week, like we call it hump day, right? You might make it that far on the current income. So to start a home-based business, it gives you the opportunity to add some additional income. And if you do it, like I said, we're doing it from home. We don't have the, the travel time. We don't have the expense of gas. And if you are, if you're the second income, so ladies, you know, if you are the second income and you're working outside of the home, what happens if you come inside of the home? Now you save all of that travel and just to get started with an additional thousand dollars a month. And let me tell you guys, if you really get serious about building a home-based business, I can show you how you can really tap into more than just a thousand dollars a month. You may start there. But if you have children, then, you know, maybe you could bring your children uh, home from the daycare kind of setting, or maybe you can do a halftime daycare and, and so that you'll have a little time to yourself to run your home-based business. But having a home-based business nowadays is just like the thing to do. I know you can go out and you can, you can work for somebody uh, another person or another entity. But listen, at some point, all of our lives, we have to start thinking differently. We cannot continue to trade our time for money because first of all, understand this, you're more, you're more valuable than the dollar per hour amount that any employer has put on you. You're more than, you're worth more than $15 an hour. You can, you can do better than that. So if you want to earn the extra income, whether you're the second income 
uh, you know, you you have a spouse who's working outside of the home, whether it's that kind of income or whether it's, it's you personally just adding the income to your household to give you some flexibility and some other options, whether it's to save money on daycare because now your children don't have to be in daycare uh, full time, whatever that is. Having a home-based business is ultimately going to allow you the opportunity to save money and make more money. Now, let me tell you something. The rich are not rich just because of the amount of money that they make. They are rich because of the amount of money that they learn how to keep. And if you run a home-based business, you will definitely be able to keep more of your money in the long run. So that's day number six. That's tip number six as to why you should have a home-based business. And listen, I'll be back on tomorrow with day number seven. I'm kind of planning to do this for 10 days. Now I know this, I'm just playing around with this video. So today I'm doing a Facebook live horizontally because I want to be able to put this up on on YouTube. It looked kind of funny yesterday done vertically. So anyway, just bear with me as I, as I kind of test my way through this. But what's more important is the value, is the information that I am trying to release to you to help you make some decisions to go ahead and start your home-based business. Now, if you want some ideas about that, you can just kind of inbox me and I can give you some ideas. I can share with you, as a matter of fact, what it is I'm doing to make that extra income or earn money from home through my home-based business. But you just have to inbox me. I'm Janet S. Green on Facebook and inbox me. And let's talk about it. Okay. See you on tomorrow. Make sure you tune in for tomorrow for day number seven. Have a great evening.